Hey everyone, a long time, no talk. Sorry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry to just disappear without any word, but I've been over on my Instagram at dandy underscore plans. So if you want to catch up with what I'm doing, you can catch me over there. But I do plan on making some more videos uh, this year. So stick around. Today I'm going to do this tag created by Chan Plans. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. It's the Planner Awards for 2021. She came up with all these questions for like favorite spreads and all of that. So I wanted to go ahead and join in on the fun and do this tag. So this is my planner. It's the A5 Wide Aura Stell in Snow Cloud, Snow Angel. I'm not sure. Anyway, so the first question is, what is the your top favorite spread? And so for that, I have the week of October 25th through the 31st, which is this week in my planner. Um, so this kit is by Caress Press, and I paired it with this red sparkly foil from Moonlight Paper Co. And I am absolutely obsessed with how the spread came out. And right around this time is when I really got back into the groove of planning and really started enjoying it again. Because for a while there, I was just doing it to do it, not because I was having fun and looking forward to it. Which is part of the reason I quit YouTube a little bit. Um, anyways, so yeah, I love this spread. I think it's so pretty. I love how shiny it is. And I love how the foil looks like blood. <laughs> And um, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and I got married on Halloween, so that was really exciting. The next question is runner-up spreads. So my second runner-up, or I guess my first runner-up, is the week of April 5th. Mm. The week of April 5th through April 11th, and I used also a kit from Caress Press. Caress Press is one of my favorite shops, so most of my kits are from there. And I just thought that the green and the yellow was such a beautiful combination, and I love the yellow Converse. I used to wear yellow Converse, and I love them so much. So yeah, I just think this is really pretty the way it came out. So next up is my second runner-up spread, which is in June. And it is the week of June 14th through June 20th. And it is this kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I paired it with this sparkly pink, also from Scribble Prints Co. And I will tell you more about the spread in a bit, but this was my top third spread. I think it's so pretty. After that, it's the best summer spread, which is the week, two weeks after this. It's the week of June 28th through July 4th for my 4th of July spread. And I absolutely love the way this spread came out. I'm in love with the colors, the pink, sorry, the purple, the blue. And I love the sparkly hollow that I used from Scribble Prints Co. And I just love how glittery it looks. Next up is the best winter spread. And that will be... the week of December 20th through the 26th using this kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I paired it with foil underlays from Planahanna in silver and light pink. And this is a spread that I wasn't looking forward to. Normally I like to do traditional kits for the week of Christmas, but I didn't like any of the traditional colored kits. So, I picked this one just to have some like pretty colors in here and I think it came out beautiful. Like I did not have high hopes for this and it definitely surpassed every expectation. Next up is my best fall spread. So we're just gonna flip back over to this week. This is my favorite fall spread. I didn't do a lot of like fall themed art because I wanted to do a lot of Halloween art since there was really good Halloween art this year. And then I used a couple of 
theme specific kits in November. So this was definitely my favorite spread in the fall. Next up is favorite spring kit. So that would be this one, the week of March 22nd through the 28th. Um, I did have an accident with my planner here, so I cut out some of the bits that were ruined. Anyways, so I used this kit from Glam Planner and I love the colors. I love how boho-y everything looks. And this is kind of the aesthetic I wanna have for my house that we're moving into in a little bit. So yeah, I absolutely love the spread. Next up, we're going to the best holiday spread and that'll be over here in December. And it was really hard not to pick this one for my top spread of the year because look how beautiful it is. It is a kit from Caress Press and I paired it with gold and dark blue plaid foil from Planahanna. And then I used this maroon washi that I think really brought everything together. And I just think it's so beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with how this looks. So yeah, that's my favorite holiday spread. Next up is best spread using a mystery kit. And I don't use too many mystery kits. Um, I don't well, this past year I didn't subscribe to any, but I recently subscribed to Crest Press, so we'll see more of those in the new year. But this is the one that I got for Cyber Monday 2020 from Crest Press with the Sparkly Hollow um, bundle that came with it. And yeah, since I didn't have a lot of options for mystery kits, I picked this one because it looked really pretty. And I think the colors are really pretty too. This is Winston, he's my new cat. I got him a few months ago and I'm obsessed with him. He's like my best friend. Next up is the best monthly kit. I've been playing around with my monthly um, layout, not layout, I don't know, the way I decorate them. And so this is, bye Winnie, bye Winnie. So this is my favorite one, I think. I've been trying to just be more creative and pull in like, like little foil bits and bobs that I have purchased over the, t the years. For a while there, I was trying to do like the foil layering type spreads. Didn't work out for me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think this was my favorite uh, monthly kit just because it's so pretty. And then I used this overlay here from Moonlight Paper Co. I love this dog, he's beautiful. So yeah. That's my favorite monthly. Next up is favorite memories or the week that I has the best memories for me. Mm. And that would be this week in July 26th through August 1st. This was the week that Chris and I went to Chicago. I'm pretty sure I have a plan with me on this on my channel if you wanna check it out. I have plan with me, I think up until Maybe this was the last one I posted. Yeah, I think that might've been the last one um, because I just got really behind. And then I just stopped wanting to post videos. Anyway, so this kit is from Caress Press and I paired it with a silver foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co. And like I said, this was the week that we went to Chicago. That's where I'm from, but Chris had never been. Chris is my husband. And so we went on a vacation and I took him to all my favorite spots and tried a whole bunch of new things together and it was really fun. And I'm really excited to do it again with him in the winter time so he can see Chicago during Christmas. Next up is best foil pairing. Um, if you look at like the beginning of my planner, there's not too much foil because I told myself that I wasn't gonna get into foil because that was just an, another added expense. Um, Anyway, we threw that out the window. And this is my best foil combination. I used this kit from Caress Press, and then I paired it with silver and red, um, like Christmas light underlays from Planahanna. And I think that the red and the silver look so beautiful with this kit. And this was the first time I ever did um, 
an extender box. So that's also really exciting. I told myself I wasn't going to do those and like, look at me now. Here I am. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. Okay, next up is best bottom washi combo. So we're going back to this week. And I picked this one because first off, look how this hollow reflects here in the light. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then also, I spent a really long time trying to pick out a washi that would match this bottom washi. And it was really hard. I went through pinks, I went through greens, purples, and I just about gave up. But then um, I found this one that I thought might match, but I wasn't sure. And I think it came out great. So I'm really obsessed with that. Next is best sidebar. And for this one, I couldn't decide. So I picked two. The first one is from this kit with Paper Muse Crafts, I think. And she offered decorative sidebars and I think this one is absolutely stunning. It says, see treasures in simple things, which is kind of a pun. I love that word, little wordplay. Um, but I don't use my sidebar functionally. So I think that this is like the best option. Unfortunately, she stopped offering them, but I'm glad I got one and I think it's beautiful. And I think it really complements the bottom washi here. And then the second one that I picked is this one for the week of November 29th through December 5th. People really seem to enjoy this one on Instagram and I can see why. It's really pretty. I didn't want to add any boxes on here that I didn't need so I just decided to do like a full washi sidebar with the little cat on top and I think this washi pairs the kit super great. So yeah, I'm really proud of this one and I think it looks really pretty. Next up is my biggest good surprise, or biggest surprise good, which is a kit that I was surprised by how good it was. And that'll be this kit again from Scribble Prints Co. I got this kit in a mystery de-stash or a random pull de-stash, something like that. And I wasn't excited about it at all. I thought it was pretty, but like not something that I would really use. But I went ahead and used it for my sister-in-law's birthday because she's a toddler and she turned two. So yeah, so I used it for that. I'm just trying to use up kits that I have in my collection. And I think it turned out beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with how pretty this is. So yeah. Next up is my biggest bad surprise, which is a kit that I was really looking forward to and then turned out to be actually pretty awful or bad. And that would be this kit. I also have a plan with me on this one. Um, the kit is from Caress Press and I think it's beautiful. Like I love the art and I love the bottom washi combo here. The thing is that I used these underlays here that I don't really care for. And then I used these heart overlays and I feel like they just look really bad. Like you can't see the art and they just, get in the way and it just looks really cluttered and gross so yeah that's really disappointing because I had high hopes for this and it really like let me down or I guess I let myself down with the way I planned it and I don't like how this is here I was trying to this is where I was trying to do some of that layering didn't work out so anyway and then the last category here is most repurchase worthy kit and that one is also in this month and it's this kit from Scribble Prints Co. I think that this kit is absolutely beautiful. I love all the colors and the flowers. I love this pop of like maroon. I think it's stunning. I love this artwork. I think it's bloomsical and you don't see much of her art anymore. Anyways, I just love this color combination and I hate that this spread got ruined. So I would definitely repurchase this kit again so I could redo it. Maybe use some different underlays because I used those heart ones again. Didn't care for them. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this kit. Okay, so that is all of the categories. So thank you Chan Plans for coming up with this tag. Um, if any of you guys do it, comment down below your channel 
or your Instagram so I can check them out. I think it's really fun to see everybody spreads and hear what they thought of how they came out now that the year is over. Um, if you wanna see a full flip through of my planner, I have a video posted already with the first, I think it's the first six months of the year of 2021. And then I will be filming another couple of videos for the end of 2021 so that you guys can see all the spreads that I didn't share on Instagram because I also took time off from posting on Instagram. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that those videos will be coming up soon. So stick around if you wanna see those. You can subscribe if you'd like to. I think that would be nice. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see y'all later. Bye.